We must speak of a few matters, Mil, and then you will go. First, I need you to deal with that giant god's damned dog in the ocean. It is called the Urko, an omen of death that foretells great peril. Not kill. It can't die. It may not even be alive. On the coastline is a horn that belonged to me when I was ruler of the surface. Blow it, and the Urko will no longer be a threat. That is all for now. Leave me. I told you, Mia, the dog will no longer be a danger for you. As a matter of fact, it will help us in everything we need. I never said it would, but now he is no longer a threat. Thanks to your efforts, I can now see the world through Urko's eyes, and the corruption rising in various parts of your sunlit world. Seek it in Dunios first. Touching the rot will tell us the form the corruption has taken, and where else it has spread. I will ride your mind and guide you, of course. Understood? Good.
the source of your human ma magic is tainted. This is troubling. I sense further damage in the end of the world, the home of the werewolves. That is your next destination. Damage here is extensive, but reversible. Your final destination is ours, home of the goblins. comes, we will spare some of them, as pets, perhaps. There you are. I was worried something had eaten you. Want is a strong word. I think we'd all rather be drinking and having a lovely time. Unfortunately, our shit luck has intervened. I've been trading letters about the corruption with an acquaintance of mine named Elderheart. He's a Morian scholar at Medu. He stopped responding and I'm hoping you can discover what's happened to him. I've used my sight to see what happens if I go looking for him. And it isn't... pretty. The vision is vague, but I definitely died horribly in it. I'd rather avoid that. Must you? Ah, oh, right, because it might happen to you. Silly of me. Well. I was in darkness. The air smelt like meat, and not the good kind. Then, something slapped my head off. That's all I have, I'm afraid. Through my own eyes, something struck my head. My view spun, then I was seeing my body from the ground. Blood was spraying everywhere, darling. Really, it was impressively gruesome. Good. He had a camp set up around Medu. I'd start there.
I've received a crow from Queen Escota. She says my elder master is near death. Master Galvin took me under his wing and showed me how to combine my magics with the Celtic ones. He's important to me. It would mean a lot to be able to say goodbye. I know it is a lot to ask considering the dangers we currently face. But if we might travel there, I would like to pay my respects. Yes, the one who taught me the magic of life and death. I confess he never made my studies easy, but my skills became stronger for it. I am surprised, though. I did not think he would go so easily into death, nor that he would show such sentimentality as twilight fell on his life, as to request an audience for his passing. He was a fighter, to put it lightly. Still, I would go see him. I owe him that much, and perhaps there is something I can do to help him, even if he is near death. I know it's a big ask, but... Thank you. I will meditate, and make my mind and body ready for our arrival. I'll clean my outfit. Master always was quick to critique my cleanliness, no matter how many times I wash. I'm used to looking pristine but I've adjusted to boat life better than I'd expected, I suppose. Here we are. Do I look all right? Of course I do. What am I thinking? He's on his deathbed. He won't care. Much. Let us keep going. Even though he said he could keep death at bay, I suspect even he's finally met his match. 
I wonder why he wanted to see me. I figured he preferred to die. Master? Oh, who else, student? And I see you haven't even bothered to dress for a funeral or clean your gown. There's a wrinkle near the hem. Oh, disgraceful. Master, you seem healthy. Enough. Although you have wrinkles as well, I can barely see your face under all of them. They certainly weren't there last we spoke. Oh, as insolent as ever, I see. Whatever I did to earn you as a student, I'll never know. You said I'd be the death of you, Master. But I always thought it would be of your choosing. No other. And it is. I merely wished you to witness it. It won't be long now. Master? Uh, drop the pretense for once. Call me Galvin. Galvin. You think I would wait for death? No. I was merely waiting for you. I saw your ship on the horizon, and I made preparations. That cup there holds death's invitation. And death has been invited. Poison? Why? What if I'm not ready to let you go? You could always reanimate me if you're feeling particularly morbid, but I'm not sure that would be the right answer. Help me take the poison, please. One last gesture to an old man. I don't know what to do. As you wish, Master Galvin. You would have made a good, proper druid if you'd wanted. I'm glad you didn't want it, though. You're unique, and the world is better for having you in it. Slancher. Thank you, dear girl. I admit, Khaldun, it wasn't only for sentimentality's sake. I, I have one last lesson to teach. A choice for you. You know of the Rod of the Dead? Yes. It was lost long ago, but... I drank poison, damn it, let me finish. <coughs> it is not lost. It is the final lesson. <coughs> As it was for my master, for me. Yet I could not take it, perhaps. Perhaps you could. It lies in the depths of the caves. You know the ones where we practice our necromancy. There you must brave its corridors, its tests, and at the end you will face the same riddle I did. The one of life and death. For me, it is death that won. I am at peace with that. For you, perhaps something else. You are far more powerful than I ever was. I will seek it out, Master. But the poison. Surely there is a way. Khaldun, you were always insolent. It's too late now, and we both know it. My insolence. You train me well, Master. I thank you. And may your journey to death's door be a quiet and troubled one. I just need a moment to make sure my Master's robes are folded properly and bunched up enough at the hem so they'll be wrinkled in his spirit form when he passes into the next life. Well, here we are. The rod lies ahead. Somewhere. I wish my master had at least provided a map, but not big on details, that one. Those statues there, they bear a strange mark on their surface. 
I have not seen its like before. An ambush. It seems we must cross the bridge. On to the ruins. I suspect that attack will not be the last. The ruins and more foes block our path. Stand fast. Those creatures, they had the same arcane feel about them as did those marks on the two statues. They must infest these ruins. These ruins, they look like they were carved from the rock itself. No small endeavor. Look there, a grave and three portals. Let us investigate. There is a rune inscribed in front of each portal but they are dormant. I suspect we must travel through each to awaken. Where are we? Oh, it's us. Where are you, you ask? Why, you are with us. And the more you have brought, the more of us they are. We... we 
did it! I... We have returned. And look, the room before the portal is lit. It seems our efforts have borne fruit. Let us see what the other portals hold, and awaken the other rooms. No telling what this portal holds. Receive what you give. What is that? Galvin! But you're- Ah, Khaldun. So you've made it here. Are you ready to join your master in death? Not particularly. I am what he could have been. His full potential if he hadn't cared so much about other mortals, been so focused on living. He could have had my power, but he was weak. Are you stronger? What are you doing? Do you want us to die? We must press the attack. Wait, he seems to be stopping. Fading. Do we still not attack? Very well. We've done it. We won. To think that's what he could have become instead of an old man knocking back poison. Thank you for taking the portal's inscription to heart. I do not know if I would have comprehended its meaning in time. Thank you. We should return to the central chamber. This test is finished. The second rune is lit. Excellent. Where are we now? Help me. And what is that? Someone crying out. Help. Please help. I'm trapped. Whatever reason she is here, we cannot leave her to suffer. It has moved. Thank you. Fools. A beast. It was a trick. Victory! It seems pity lured us in, yet acting unselfish and helping others is being shown to be wrong. That cannot be. I'm unsure of the lesson being imparted, but we must press on. We should return to the central chamber. That is the last of the runes. And it seems we have awakened something else. That spirit! It holds the rod of the dead. I heard stories from my master, but to see it... It is your reward for your effort. Its power is yours. All that is left is to make that power yours. The rod. It's mine. It's power. It is incredible. It is the power of life and death.
condensed in metal and bound to your will. Many lives can you take, and the rod will assist you. Its power is yours. The rod has found another. My task is done. I thank you for your trust. Now, for the rod. And the rod, we have reclaimed it. Thank you for helping me. I could not have claimed it on my own. You have my thanks for travelling with me to the ruins. I knew there would be dangers, but I did not realise how dangerous it would be. Still, I am grateful you were there. And with the rod recovered, perhaps I can do more to sort out this whole Celtic mess. Nonsense! The Rod of the Dead is a tool, nothing more. In the hands of a less skilled practitioner, it might prove dangerous. But in my hands, it is safe. Never fear. This cave is a trial, a test. And since you're with me, it will test you as well. Be on your guard. This is a vault, but its locks are riddles and deceptions, and likely a fair share of fighting as well. A dragon slumbers in these caves, and we would do well not to wake it. The challenges we face are born from its dreams, and from the magic of the druids as well. Thank you. I am allowed to bring others here to the cave, but in the past such companions suffered the same fate as the Seeker. I don't wish to put you at risk, but I am glad you're here. We'll face this trial together. Wait. Do you hear something? sending spectres of beasts, but the longer we're here, it may begin to draw images from our own minds. is blocked, but there's an inscription on the rock here. Heard before, yet heard again, then yet fades until called again. <laughs> Another challenge, a test of the mind. We'll need to solve it before we pass. Heard before, yet heard again. No, it does not. And the word again is repeated, which ruins the pacing. Heard before, yet heard again, then yet fades, until called again. Could be a memory. Ah! Oh. Ah! 
Guess not. Well, we face another riddle. Let's be more careful about solving it. Spirit, have you forgotten me so soon, Amagin? I was less ashen when we last spoke, but the fires that claimed me on the beach. To listen. Yes, most likely another illusion. But there's a chance his spirit Illusion or spirit, I can still hear you. Although whether I am formed from your memory, or if I truly am Telesin, that, I confess, I don't know. What do you want? Are you a challenge? Must I save you somehow? <laughs> no, no. This time, I am here to save you instead. Follow me. I can lead you to what you seek, though it will not settle your mind. Here, this stone must be placed on the pedestal in the central chamber. Be warned, once you do, your final trial awaits. Thank you, spirit. Talasin. I was pleased to help, Amagin. May your journey be long, and not brought to an end like mine was. I... I wasn't expecting that. To see Talesin again so soon. If only I'd done something. Did I? I keep going over it in my mind. Seeing all the different choices I could have made. What if... Let's move on. That's one. One more to go. Another spirit. You don't know my face. Am again my voice? Wait, Kiara? You remember me, and even in death, I remember you. Am again. Kiara, an old friend from when I was a boy. Kiara, what happened? You disappeared, and I never. I thought. I face the same trial you face now. I saw what you came here to claim, but failed. And now, I am a guardian of this place. Kiara, I don't want to fight you. This is Druidic law. This is my purpose. 
Expecting to find the spirits of other druids who had failed here. We could also meet the same fate. Wait, this stone, it bears a rune like one of the pedestals in the main vault. We should head back. Final test is ahead. I hope I'm strong enough. But what it took to get here. Kiara, Talison, I failed them both. Even if they were just illusions, drawn from my memories. The pain is real. I suppose standing here and lamenting the dead won't get us any closer to the end of all this. Where... where are we? I hear waves, the beach. Oh no. King Hith. I'm again. Seems like only yesterday since we last saw each other. So clear. The moment I was snatched up in that beast's jaws. That hound, Lug. A beast you worshipped. Perhaps worship still. Tell me. Did you intend for me to die? My lord, I... So be it.
Is it done? Are they dead? I... I didn't think it would hurt this much. I'd seen it countless times in my mind, but to see it again, the beach, even in a vision. I'm not sure I can. I'm not sure I deserve to. Thank you. You've given me much to think about. Let's continue on. There may be more trials. Wait. The mist. It's clearing. Hmm. This isn't part of the trial. I believe Ith was my final test. This... this is something else. I'll leave the decision in your hands. Very well. We should take a moment and prepare, though. A recently awakened dragon is likely to be, uh... ornery. My challenge of the cave. Thank you for coming with me. Your words, your advice, they help clarify things that were in doubt for me. I feel different after leaving the cave of eternity. Everything has a clarity to it. A shine that I'd never noticed before. I'm unaware as to whether I unlock the secrets of time as I meant to, but I appreciate everything a bit more. Maybe that's what it means to understand time. That we should cherish it. Use our time fully. I couldn't have done it without you. You tell me the truth even when I don't want to hear it. And that's what a friend does. Thank you. Yes? What do you want? I've got a war to fight, and I've got soldiers missing. <sighs> I can't spare anyone to search for the first patrol I've sent out, so I'm sitting here with my hands tied. I've already offered my hands. Twice. For the last time, Brig. Enough. And enough of the familiarity. Address me as commander. Then act like one. 
refuse my help again, and I'll go hunt for the scouts on my own, with or without your blessing. See? There's another set of hands willing to pitch in. I can't send any more soldiers. We don't know what we're dealing with. And we won't know until we know what's happened to them. I'll go with them. And if we don't make it back... <laughs> well, at least I won't be tugging on your ear anymore. Fine. I can mark where the scouts went missing. No unnecessary risks, Brig. Get eyes on the area, then report back. I can't lose you too. The scouts were sent to the northern forest. We'd had reports of enemy troops sighted there. And rumors of animal attacks. So I sent a patrol to the area to find out more. I'm worried my father may be using the wilderness to mask his movements. But I need to be sure. What few reports we received were odd. The forests have wolves, bears, but none that would attack a group of scouts. I fear they encountered something else. Nothing solved by playing guessing games. Let's find out. And report back, of course. Commander. Watch yourself, Brig. I can't afford to lose anyone else. Even you. Forgive me, but did you speak to Commander Tiana? Did she say anything about the missing soldiers? Yes, my son, Erdin. He's one of the soldiers under Tiana's command. Oh, he's barely old enough to hold a spear. I, I fear he might be wounded, lost, or, or worse. They were due back some time ago, but, but there's been no word. If you're going to search for them, will you let me know if you find him? I thank you for your kindness. Not many would spare the effort for an old man in these times. You'll know Edin by his keepsake. He has a small charm that he carries at his belt, woven from green thistle and bound with a silver clasp. I thought it might bring him luck, but... Thank you. Well, is Commander Tiana scouring the forest to see what she can find? Though, you look more like peasants and soldiers. Oh, great. This is trouble we don't need. Yet trouble is what you found. And we've orders to kill any traitors we find. <laughs> You're lying. A feeble attempt. Sir, there were reports of archers, and we're easy targets out in the open like this. Hold your tongue, and you all stand your ground. Stand your ground, I said. Looks like your fellows are scattering. Still eager for a fight. For the true king!
There's the charm the old man described. 
This must be his son, Odin. Damn shame. Tarlok's main druid, Tristan. Didn't your Morian seer kill this scumbag? What are you doing here? I thought you were still serving a boil at the hill fort. Wait, your hand. <laughs> oh, it looks worse than it is. I didn't need it anyway. I was one of the lucky ones. Was chasing thieves for Doran. Bit off more than we could handle, and the thieves caught us. <laughs> Made sport of me. As for my hand, well, uh, they were hungry enough that they... Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, a tale for another time. You can't be serious. What of your men? The others? Didn't make it back. Doran's luck, we call it. Almost everyone's starving. And there's not enough soldiers to patrol the farms and the perimeters. The end of the tale's simple. I'm little use as a guard for Doran any longer. But you, Brig, if you were to volunteer your sword, why, you turn things around before the setting of the sun. Chase those bandits back, hell, even Doran might even listen to you. He would not. Doran has never listened to counsel. Yes, I would have thought Doran would have a mind to protect his own people and his own land, if only to keep their loyalty, but it seems I was wrong. Where can he be found? Doran travels. He's rarely at the hill fort, and without his presence, duties have fallen to his second, Torsten. Though in truth, Torsten is more the first now. A harsh man. But Torsten cannot act without Doran's say, so we must wait for word from our chieftain to take the action we need. A chieftain who is absent while his men fight his battles? Perhaps I should seek Doran out. A talk is clearly long overdue. Aye. If you're determined, seek him out at Minabor. I'd head there myself, but I'm, well, little use now. The healers say there's a chance I'll still be able to farm at least, but... I'll seek Doran out. Any word of my son? Oh, I feared as much. But at least now I know. Thank you for telling me. As for his charm, please keep it. Perhaps it will serve you better than it did him. Thank you again for all you have done. At least now I know Erdin's fate. That bastard. You. You look like you know your way around a blade. Fancy earning some extra coin. 
It's quite simple, really. One of my clients thought she could cheat me. Just because I'm a man, she thought she could take advantage of me. She enticed me into bed. And after we were done, she slipped off and stole my savings and some priceless goods. Now she's vanished, because that's a step too far even for the matriarchs here. I want my goods back, if possible. And either way, I want her head. Her name is Badina. She's a Morian. Tall, beautiful, slim, with a scar down her right cheek. She's a hell of a fencer, good with a spell. Bring me her head and we can talk about the appropriate reward. You'll find me generous. Thank you so much for coming. I do not know how to start. <sighs> From the beginning, I suppose. My sisters have lost their way. They have found a way to tap into the corruption they sought to seal, and believe that by embracing it, they will master it. But they are not strong enough. It will be their doom, and the doom of our people, if they continue. I ask you, no, I beg you, help me to stop them. Wonderful. We must leave soon, and once we go, we must commit. There can be no return until we succeed. One more thing. I need to find an artifact I left behind, the Agate's Eye. If my sisters find it, their power will be immensely magnified. Now, let us go. We should be wary. I lived here once to draw from the area's abundant magical power, but it has been centuries since that time. Who can say what creatures might have made this their home city? It's fallen into such disrepair. Really, I should be ashamed of myself. Why, you! Those are mine! They were gifts! If you cared about them, perhaps you should have taken them with you. Really addled my magic. The coven's work is already twisting their minds. Let's see if we can find the other time.
So this is the face I see at my death. I knew this day would come. May I ask if it is for something I deserve? I can die for many deserved things, but for stealing? Never. Varlath is a vermin. His tongue poisons all ears that listen to him. I have never stolen from another Marian. Everything I have is mine by right. If anyone has stolen, it is that scoundrel. He has stolen the time I've invested in his company. If I have to die to never see him again, then so be it. The mother of all will deliver justice when the time comes. It's inevitable. <laughs> I don't think it's here. Let's move on. Agazai, where did I leave you?
with you. We've been expecting you. Helvig, head up. What a surprise to see you. Did the coven tell you I was coming? Did they try and turn you against me? They told us, yes. And they told us that you had been keeping us here in the dark to serve you. Hmm. They say if we kill you, we will be free. We can return to the surface, but our struggle will end. You never freed us. Why? If we were your slaves, then you are the enemy. I laid no claims on you, my friends, no chains. I thought you had chosen. My sisters, though, they have clouded your minds. They would sacrifice you to delay me. They dabble in corruption. What they offer is not freedom, but servitude unending. Eternal torment. Mm. We are already in eternal torment. Worse than eating your sire for centuries. Worse than unending darkness. You are truly a fool. We deserve better than this. You do. I agree. Then why haven't you helped us? I... Let me explain. I see time. All of it. The past, the future, the permutations and possibilities. I wanted to help everyone. Then I realized that was impossible, and so I tried to help as many as I could. But I could not help the Formorians without harming many, many others. So you let us suffer, you spiteful bitch. It was not a choice I wanted to make, and had I known my sight would fail me. Time has broken in ways I cannot see. This cataclysm destroyed every possible future I have ever known. I accept your hatred and scorn. I deserve it, and more. But please, allow me to atone. Give me a chance to honor my debt to you, to right my wrongs. It shouldn't have taken the threat of violence to help you see... What kind of a seer are you? Hmm. You think words are sufficient for our centuries of anguish? You think simple platitudes answer the wrong you've done us? I am truly sorry. I want to help. Monsters? I'll show you monsters. You slippery maggot. I cannot bear more weight like this on my soul. Not for long.
My beloved sisters have so much. Come on, Nadeja, where did you put it last? Is it possible it's not here? No, no, I know I left it here. Is it too late to stop them? If we should destroy them now, surely we can handle whatever tremors and aftershocks might follow from the breaking of the ritual. Their long lives ending like this. Should they finish, the corruption will take them. They will undoubtedly attack us then, strengthened by their ritual. But we may yet save one or two of them if we do not kill them.
You are right. But we have shared millennia. Give me a moment to grieve. It means the destruction of the eye, the death of my sisters. But we have no choice. Shall we? passing of ages. Help me gather their bodies. They do not deserve to rot like this. Not here. I send you into the darkness with my love and my breath as your guides. May they prove as constant as the stars. Take it. The agate's eye has been pierced. It is no longer useful to me. Now it is a tool of vengeance. Your tool. We must seal the corruption away, hide the temptation to abuse it as my sisters did. Now. Oh, my head, it's tearing apart. Do I imagine this? Amogen, do you see it? Mila Spaniard, do you? I do see it. I do not understand. Is that me? Why am I so old? What happened to you? I have never seen this in any of my visions. Is this reality? How can this be? Don't touch it, you fool! What's happening? <laughs> 